Okay, so we'll say this thing's alarming. Uh, you look at the pump, it's not, uh, it's not pumping, or it's not uh, filling and emptying. And uh, you're going to change where you're going to handle. Tough, huh, Renee? How fast are you going? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you can use the CPR 1001, 1002 thing. You won't think about that until you've been doing it for five minutes and you start to calm down a little bit. Yeah, 1000, 1000. You know, everybody's inclination is to go too fast. <laughs> okay. should say that if you are hand pumping and we arrive, don't stop, because it takes about <laughs> almost 10 minutes for the, us to get the backup console up and running, and it, you know, it's really not something that you can do, so you got to wait till we get here, so just keep on hand pumping and we'll be with you shortly, uh, but uh, it, there's no quick way around that. Also, if you want to get a little closer look at the diaphragm thing, and if you manipulate that uh, uh, syringe, you can move the diaphragm. never done it, you're not going to be able to do a thing, but now it should be a no-brainer now. now. And like I said, even, you know, if you're not sure whether the console's bad or not, you know, you're not, you're as, you're in a, as effective air compressor as the machine, you know, uh, if you have to, do it. You're not going to hurt the patient at all. 